hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this motion graphic template inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you want to learn more about motion graphic and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses link is available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition. We are going to name it as Main Animation, Width is 1920, Height is 180, Frame Rate is 30, Duration is also 30 second long and Background Color is White Color and simply hit OK. Then go to Choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Titles Affection. Then I am going to select my Pen tool over here and I am going to delete this fill, we don't need that. And I am going to add Stroke and I am going to choose Black Color for the Stroke and simply hit OK then from here to here we will create one stroke and let's uh, make this stroke weight 50 pixels now select the stroke press ctrl alt hope to align that anchor point to the center then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now let's go to the shape layer and choose add menu and we are going to choose over here is wiggle path so simply click on it go to the wiggle path over here and increase the size somewhere around over here and points right now it's corners so let's choose smooth and if you hit play as you guys can see we are getting this kind of weird looking animation if you want then you can increase the size and let's make this details to 5 like this and if you see we will get this kind of animation and uh, we have to uh, reduce the speed so in wiggle per second i'm going to choose one so we will get something like this okay then uh, we are going to select this press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and we are going to name it as stroke like this and hit ok we will select this press p for position and let's move this over here <coughs> okay like this select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and press p again now select this second stroke over here and we are going to move this over here like this let's try to adjust it over here until it's going to touch this point so as you guys can see this is 105 so now let's move, enable our calculator and we will move uh, some calculation 105 minus 55 which is the positions of this two so if you click you will get 50 reading so what how we can use this so let's see we will delete this second layer now let's select this first layer over here alt click on the stopwatch and type uh, open bracket square bracket inside that we are going to type position again open and square bracket type 0 after that type comma again type position after that uh, we will type 1 after that plus 50 uh, star and index okay so we'll get something like this now all we need to do is hit ctrl d several times until we will get this something like this and if you see we will get this kind of animations now uh, right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null press p for position and let's bring this over here okay let's select this null object and we will hit delete uh, sorry uh, we don't need to delete that uh, we will stick with this null object because all of them are parent with them like this and let's make this full version so we'll get something like this now select this uh, stroke over here go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to apply fill effect to it and double click to apply over here and we are going to choose let's say uh, you can choose uh, any color combination you want i'm going to choose this purple color over here simply hit ok and let's go inside the stroke we will select the shape layer and we are going to choose the white color for the stroke like this and we will select this fill uh, effect and we will hit ctrl c and now we are going to select alternate layers by holding ctrl we will uh, alternate this selection like this and hit ctrl v to paste it so we will get something like this okay 
now uh, this is uh, they are animating all at once but we don't want that so uh, let's do one thing we will hit page down one two three times <laughs> select uh, all of these layers by holding alt close bracket we will cut it out right click go to the keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok like this you zoom in a little bit and we will move this entire composition up to here and let's go over here hold alt open bracket to trim this go to the start and move open bracket and we move this over here so we will get this kind of stuff <coughs> okay now select this first layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect simply double click to apply as you guys can see we will get a little bit of drop shadow over here now go to the shadow color we are going to choose bluish color somewhere around like this increase the softness to 100 like this and opacity let's choose 30 okay let's make this fit now select this drop shadow hit ctrl c to copy select all the layers and simply hit ctrl v to paste it so we will get this kind of drop shadow but after applying that uh, it will take a little bit time to load this animation like this okay so we'll stick with that now we are going to do one thing i'm going to select this uh, any kind of a stroke in middle of that you can choose like uh, let's say i'm going to choose this one this stroke over here okay which is the 14th layer i'm going to select this layer and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'm going to choose move all attributes into the new composition and hit ok like this uh oops sorry uh, but before that uh, we have to do one thing uh let's uh, select this and we will delete this parenting we don't need that which is this one and let's uh, enable this icon i'm going to select this and then i'm going to press ctrl shift c and move all attributes into the new composition over here and enable this icon okay and now we will try to adjust the position of it properly over here okay like at this point and we will change the color of this one to yellow so it would be easy for us to understand that this is the color and like that don't forget to enable this icon and after that also try to adjust the position and now we will bring this stuff at the top top of it like this so if you see we have this one extra layer at the top why we are doing that let's see so now if you see this we have this extra stroke on the top of it and now we can easily type our text so let's type our text i'm going to type motion then select this uh, like this and another thing you can do if you want uh, let's uh, delete this text first uh, we will select all of these layers except this stroke layer over here we will select all of these layers and we will press ctrl shift c and we are going to name it as animation and hit ok okay now this is entirely in the new composition like this and this one is the new composition and then we can type our text so i'm going to choose possible font and i'll type whatever text i want i'm going to type motion over here let's choose regular font select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this okay and we will move this layer over here so we'll get something like this let's choose lighter version or let's choose extra light we will reduce this uh, italic i mean bold version and we will try to adjust this properly at the center and if you want then uh, you can go to the character menu and you can delete the stroke and you can choose different color also so let's make this full resolution like this and i think this font looks a little bit weird so i'm going to choose poppins version let's see I think Poppins looks good for this animation so I'll select this press ctrl alt home 
go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and let's increase the size like this go to the character menu decrease the distance between these alphabets like this go inside this animation select any and choose this drop shadow hit ctrl c go over here and hit ctrl v and if you want then increase the opacity of the shadow and distance also to 10 softness also 200 like this now select this motion text hit ctrl d and we will delete this drop shadow and we will bring this layer at the top go to the character menu and we are going to delete this fill uh, and we will choose white color for the stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose let's say 0 0.5 or let's say 0 0.2 maybe like this so we will get something like this okay let's reduce the drop shadow over here like this and now uh, we have to create some extra animation stuff so for that we uh, let's uh, hide all of them we don't need that press ctrl k to open the project settings and we will choose black color so we can see our text properly i'm going to select this text and i'll type motion graphics okay i'll select this text i'll hit to go and i'll copy this several times okay so select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically then i'm going to select my rectangle selection tool and i'm going to create one mask on it like this okay and then go to the text uh, go to the path options and we are going to choose mask so we will get this kind of stuff then you can select this text and if you want then you can increase the distance between this alphabets so you can adjust it properly like this okay so this is just uh, extra stuff and if you want then you can choose regular version for this font like this okay then uh, over here you will get this first margin options also so you can animate that also so go to the start let's create first margin create one keyframe hit you go to around six to eight seconds and you can increase this value to 50 also like this so you will get this kind of animation so let's make this 500 and let's see we will get this kind of animation over here let's go to around six seconds and hit n and then we will enable all of these layers so we will get that animation and press ctrl y to create one solid background and we are going to choose white color for this background so we will get this kind of surf and if you want then you can press ctrl shift y to enable the solid settings you can pick up this this color also and you can choose a little bit of you know uh, if you want you if you want then you can play around with this colors also like uh, if you can choose different type of versions like i'll choose this which looks quite weird so this is how you can create abstract motion graphic template uh, inside of after effects